Ladies and gentlemen, I am Sanji Himura. I'd like to welcome you to the Sanji Himura Experience for the 9th of March, 2020. It will probably be the 10th of March when you see this video. I would like to explain this flowchart right here, and that is, uh, how can one developer be linked to a band publisher? So, with that said, let's get the let's get the explanation out of the way. I created this chart in the last six days, and this is this is no longer this is no longer a story that I can not ignore. So, with that said, let's get the explanation under. We got the explanation underway. Let's let's explain this flowchart. Uh, we start out with a with a uh. Russian memester union member Putin team. They are developers and publishers of Putinization. But what really drew our attention to these fellas is their publishing arm, which they published a game called Coronavirus Simulator, which was banned on the store on the 2nd of March, 2020. And they were developed by Danella Fox aka Ukrainian Bears. So Croc made an Lord Crocus Squirrel made an offhand topic comment saying that he was looking at the email. So I searched I searched through I searched through it the uh with a Google search and came up with a game called Crazy Simulator. Now, uh, Crazy Simulator is a clicker game, much like Coronavirus Simulator, which nobody wanted. So, uh, it was linked. It was it was linked via an announcements. Crazy Simulator linked a game via their announcements page, calling it their tr next triple A masterpiece. Uh, with a game called Furry Stories Alpha Male. And that is a non-safe-for-work game, if it still existed on the Steam storefront. But it shared, it shared an interesting email with a game called Furry Ladies. We will get back to Furry Girl Style in about 30 seconds. And when, Alpha, when Furry Stories Alpha Male got banned from the store, uh... It linked to another game. It conf basically confessed to another game called Furry Girl Style. Saying that they were the socks. They developed that particular game that got banned for flicking on and off the uh, adult content filter. And Valve was not happy with that. So, back to Putin Team. Putin team uh, developed Putinization, which was which was originally published by an outfit called Versus Publishing. And Putinization linked uh, uh, gave developer privileges to a man named Andrew Versus Larionov. Now, what Larionov actually developed was a game called Reptilians Must Die, which was published by you guessed it. AYE technology. Now, versus publishing, uh, you will see, um, you will see that they developed quite a bit of games. They developed three games in particular that I'm focusing on to on this video, and that is Squeeze Zone, which was published, which was also published by AYE technology. Planted 2117, which was published by Enjoy Games, and Inverted, which was published by, you guessed it, Dagestan Technology. Now, why did we why did we guess Dagestan Technology is a known sock of why did we guess that Enjoy Games is a known sock of Dagestan technology, but we have a possible sock in AYE technology? Well, 
according to according to IndieDB, which I'll drop a link to their websites on which I'll drop my sources in the website in the description down below. So we have Altered Guardian, who was developed by Hitplix Studio. They were original that game was originally published by Dagestan Technology, but they got the boot and went they went with AYE Technology. Now AYE Technology published five additional games. Time of Silence, which was developed by an outfit called Dark Light. Slight, which was developed by Hiplex Studio. And we should make a note that Hiplex Studio, most of Hiplex Studio's games were published under Dagestan Technology. <coughs> With the exception of Slight and Alter Guardian. Now, other Tanks was developed by, drumroll please, Daniel Hazanov. Now, the best that we could figure on Mr. Hazanov is that he developed two additional games with two additional publishers. They published Peer, which is published by Fizz Light. And Little People, which was published by Blue Whale Games. And they also developed a third game called Abandoned Night, which was published by Dagestan Technology. And that was other tanks. Uh, Mars Industries, which was developed by Zav Game. They have two games on the Steam storefront. And that is Redium and Export Simulator. Yes, go to the Steam Store page for those games and you will see that they are still existing. The other band game from Mr. Zov game happens to be Hope for Love. Both Redium and Export Simulator was published is now published by an outfit called Irregular Games. Now, Spectrum Games, which is pub, which was developed, which developed Galactic Fighter, has a very interesting little story to tell. Um, Spectrum Games developed uh, two projects. One is OnStar, which was published by Dagestan Technology, and the other is Star Project, which was published by Dagestan Technology, but they were replaced by Enjoy Games on the 25th of January 2019. Now, all of Spectrum Games games uh, were removed from the store on the 25th of, Mar of November 2019. Now, Dagestan Technology also developed and pu also published legitimate games. One, since one such developer is a man by the name of Saint Heiser. Saint Heiser developed Sig, Sig. No, Zzz. Zed, basically. Uh, Brainstorm Tower Bombard, Beyond Minimalism, Mind Trap, and Tower Bombard. All of them, which was formerly published by Dagestan Technology. And all of them also enjoyed a new publisher called Half Face Games, which also developed and published. St. Heiser also developed with Half Face Games Publishing Jumper Tree, Heavy Memories, Cold Silence. E3.14 Center, Danger Exclamation Point Energy, and Half Face Games also developed and published Data Flow. 
all of which shared a former publisher in Exilion. Well, uh, I would like to thank you all for watching the Sanji Himura uh, experience. I have been Sanji Himura. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.